My name is Mr. Shengoma, and today we are going to look at composite functions. Composite functions is a combination of more than one function. For example, you can have function f, g together, thus we call it one combination, or we can have function f, f, x, still this is one combination because we have got two functions, but also we can have two combination, and that is like f, g, h. So when you have three functions together, means that is two combination. What do you mean by one combination? We mean the first function together with another, that's one combination, right? The first function together with another, that's one combination. But for two combination, for two combination, we mean is we have got the first function, one and two, so that's two combination. Okay, so we can have composite functions of many combinations, starting from one combination, two combination, three combination, and, and many others. But when you look at our question number one here, we have got A, uh, question with two, one combination, and then we have B, a question with two combination. Right, so first of all, we are going to see how do we solve composite function. Then after solving composite function, then we are going to see how do we simplify composite function. Right, let's begin with how do we solve composite function. Now basically, whenever you have more than one function together, for this case we have g and then we have bracket two. So this means first we solve the function which is closest to our domain. And remember our domain is our x and our x here is given us two. So first we solve g of two. The answer we shall get will be the domain for the next function. So we check what is our function of g. So when you look at function of g, you realize it is three x squared. So three and on the place of x, I will keep on the place of x, I will keep my domain two square. And when I solve this, uh, this will be four and I get 12. So the answer for g is 12. So if g is 12, the answer for g becomes the domain for the next function. So now I will be required to solve f of 12. Remember my function for f is this one here. So if my domain is 12, I keep 12 on the place of x, so I'll get 12 plus five over two. And that gives me uh, seven, sorry, it is over five. Here, over five. So I get 17 over five. And since it is improper, when I change it to proper, I will get um, three, I get three whole number, because then I divide by five, I get three and two remainder, so two over five. So this now, it will be the combined answer for both. This now will be a combined answer for both. And I will say my final answer is here. Uh, F G of two is three, two over five. So this is how we solve combination two. Now, when we got combination two here, sorry, this is combination one. Combination two, first I will solve H. Then after solving H, I will use the answer for H to solve H, uh, F. Then when I solve F, I will use the answer of F to solve G. So I start with H. Always you must start with the function which is close to the bracket, right? So my function for h, my function for h there is square root, square root, my function for h is a square root, that is um, 5x minus, minus 9. But remember, my x is given as 5 minus 9, so that is 25 minus 9. 
and I get uh, 16. So my square root of 16 will be four. So remember, this is the answer for the first function. Now, this answer of the first function will become the domain for the second function, that is f. So now I have to solve f of f of four. Now, f of four, remember the function of f is uh, x plus five over five. x plus five over five. So on the place of x, I keep four plus five over five and that gives me nine over five. Now this answer for f will become the domain for the next function that is g. So now I have to solve g over five. And remember, my g is three x squared, three x squared, that's function. So I get three, I keep nine over five squared. That's my now third function. So to open the bracket, uh, nine square will be 81, five square will be 25, All right? So that would be my final answer. But before I have to bring that three inside. So this is like three over one. So th three times 81. So I'll get three there, I'll get 24, 24 over 25. Then I have to write this as a mixed fraction. So I have to divide, it. Uh, I can divide it here, two, 43, divide by 25, by 24, no, so I have to do nine. So nine times five, nine, sorry, that is 25, nine times 25, it will take me to, uh, nine times five will be 45, call it five, 18 plus five will be 22. When I subtract here, I get 13 minus five, that is eight, one. So that means my answer would be nine, 18 over 20, 25. Now this answer here will be the combination of the whole answer. So therefore my G F H of five will be uh, that answer. So this is how we work out, um, how we solve uh, functions which are composite. This is how we solve functions which are composite. Number two, let's look at how do we simplify these functions. Number two, let's look at how do we simplify. So remember, when we were doing, we said the answer for this becomes the domain for the next. So this basically means I get GX, and this gx, I keep it inside of f. So that is the basic knowledge. So first I need to know what is my gx. My gx is um, 3x squared. My fx is x plus 5 over 5. So this means, since I have to first solve gx, and then the answer becomes for f. So what I do here is I get the whole of the GX, I keep it inside of F and I get three X square plus five, everything over five, right? That's how we combine, that's how we simplify. And this becomes my answer. So therefore, F G of X will be three X square plus five, over over five. Let's go to the second question. How do we simplify? Remember, as we said, we solve for H, then the answer goes inside of G. We solve for H, then the answer goes inside of G. So basically, we shall take H of X there, and then the next one is G of X. So basically, we take H of X, we keep inside of G of X. So what is my h of x? My h of x is the square root 5x minus 9. And then my gx is 3x squared. So I have to get the whole of this and put it inside the x of the next one. And when I put inside, I will get 3 bracket square root 5x minus 9 bracket square. That means the whole of this function there has only replaced this x, and we get this. Then you go ahead and simplify. 
Remember, the square will die with the square root. So I will have three times 5x minus 9. Right? Then, see, finally, I will open my bracket and I get 15x minus 27. So therefore, my g, h of x, will be simplified as combined like this. So this is how we simplify composite function. Now for the last example, let's look at how we work when we have got two combinations. So basically we shall follow the same procedure. First will be G. G will go inside of F. Then F will go inside of H like this. I keep my G of X here. Then this g of x will go inside of, sorry, inside of f, because the next one is f. And lastly, I will put it inside of now h. Right, so let's put g inside of f. So what is g? First of all, my g is 3x squared. Then my f function is x plus 5 over 5. And finally, my h function is 5x minus 9. So let's get the g and we keep it inside of the f like that. When you keep it inside of the f, we shall obtain 3x square on the place of x plus 5 and everything over 5. Right, so that's the answer. If, you, if it is, can be simplified, you go ahead and simplify it. But if it cannot be simplified like the one we have, then that is the answer after the two combination. So we will join them to the next function. Now, I get this answer for F, I will take it inside of the next function. So it will go and we replace the part of X in the next function. So now I will have square root five on the place of X, I will have three X square plus five over five, then minus nine. Remember, step one, GX entered F. And after entering F, we got this. So now after getting this, now this one also has to enter H. But whenever you are entering from one function to another, the previous function, all of it, will be substituting only the X of the next function. So you can see here, we removed this x and we kept 3x squared, like that. Then now the whole of this 3x squared plus 5 over 5 will all go and we replace the x inside there, there, and we get this. So we go ahead and simplify. x will die with, 5 will die with 5. Then I will have x, sorry, 3 x square plus five minus nine. But remember, we can simplify five and nine. We can simplify five and nine, and we get three x square minus four. All this is under square root. And this will be our final, final simplified answer. And that will be h f g of x. So this is how we simplify composite function. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr.